you guys just didn't didn't have it offensively today. What were some of the things that went into that? Um. Their, uh, their defense, they switch a lot and they front the post, um, something that we haven't seen a ton this year. Um, shots weren't falling for us, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you guys obviously missed Jordan today. Is it, if nothing else, just to help space the floor. It seemed like the lane was a little more congested than the moment. Yeah, he's definitely a guy that uh, we, um, we like to have on the floor. And when he's not out there, um, everyone, including us, uh, got to step up and hit shots. And just we weren't, didn't do that today. You guys were able to kind of get a lot of good passes going through the lane, drive, make driving, kicking back out to the, um, the wing. How frustrating is it when you guys can't just get open shots to fall like that? Uh, I mean, like 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 we emphasize, uh, we can't let that affect our defense. Uh, you're going to miss shots. And it's going to happen, but you can't let that affect your defense. And uh, we missed a good amount tonight. And you're not going to win a lot of games shooting four for 20. But we still got to we still got to uh, play even harder on defense when that happens. You guys have you guys have been really consistent in that you faced four top 30 kind of teams. You weren't able to win those games, but you've been able to beat everybody else. Today was the first game that kind of fell outside that 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 range. Was this feel like for you guys? Is it a reminder that you got work to do? Is it, is it something that came out of left field? You know, how, do you, how do you process this result today? Um, obviously, uh, you don't want to lose games, so uh, it hurts. But um, got conference coming up. It's a whole new season. So uh, got this week to prepare to get ready for the MAC. And um, I think that's something our team is looking forward to. But this is definitely a game that um, we're going to learn from. And uh, we're just going to have to watch the film and build off of it. Any thoughts about that, Jason? You, know, you guys have been to put it bluntly, you guys have beaten all the teams you should beat and, and didn't get one of the upsets along the way and today was the first time that didn't happen. Um, yeah, I mean it happened, it happened, like Ben said, it, we're we're going on to a new season, so can only look forward now. Obviously disappointing outcome, but you guys were able to play solid defense for long stretches, even when your shots were falling. How much consolation? Yeah, I think uh, at some points in the game, we were uh, stringing some stops together. Um, and then I think just our uh, lack of offense at some points was affecting the continuation of that defense and um, just let it slip up a couple of times. And we just can't let that happen. Uh, Jay, you, you play and practice against Miles all the time. What, what did he give you guys today? And, and really kind of got thrown into the fire a little bit. What did you see out of Miles? And, what can we expect from that guy moving forward? It's another ball handler, another guy who can make some plays. Uh, it was his first game out today, so he'll, he'll be better. He'll, he gets, he'll get more comfortable and he gets more aggressive. He'll be better for us. Uh, but it's just his first game. Did you try to get him ready in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, he played like six minutes before today. And here you go, you're, you're starting. Yeah, uh, yeah, JD's been pretty sick, so we, we need another guard. And we threw him in there. I thought he played great defense today. but. Like you said, as he plays more and more games, he'll get more and more comfortable. Uh, 2019 from January to now has kind of been real up and down for you guys. Uh, does turning the page to 2020 kind of feel feel nice that you guys are going to move into Mac play? This year's going to be over. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, obviously, getting into Mac play is is a fun time. Uh, it's a tough time uh, going into some of those places. A lot of great teams in the league, so. Uh, I think it's it's a, a challenge that pretty much everyone on the team is looking forward to, um, and yeah, just going into 2020, just got to keep getting better every day. Uh, Jay, you and Ben played a, played a bunch of minutes in conference play last year. Uh, this year's team's got a bunch of guys that haven't played any conference minutes. What do you what do you two guys do? What do, what do you tell that young group of guys you're working with uh, that they need to get ready for or or expect when, when conference game? Uh, Coach Bo just told us play a chip, on, play with a chip on your shoulder. Uh, we all know everybody picked us dead last, so we're gonna come out every night. And we're gonna compete and uh, try and prove some people wrong. Yeah, you guys struggled offensively all day today, Jeff. What were, what were some of the reasons for that? What, what did you see from your, your view? 
Yeah, I think you know we knew coming in it was going to be a grind out type of game, low possession. And you know when you play a low possession game, you got to make shots. If you don't make shots, you know you got to get offensive rebounds and, and try to find a way to score. Um, you know we we talked about you know the turnovers. You know we, had, we only have 13, but 13 in a low possession game is a lot. And you know to score 22 off of them, you know it's kind of a you know live ball turnover situation and. I thought our defense was good. You know, the last obviously three, two, two and a half minutes. You know, they, they scored. Um, you know, the last couple layups, um, we were trying to press and, and trap there. But um, you know, we just didn't make shots. You know, I thought we got some good looks, um, especially in the first half. But it, it was really more of an intensity, loose ball, you know, effort game. The first, let's say, 13, 14 minutes. Um, they were beating us to loose balls. They were, they were, they just had more energy, and, and you know that can't happen. And you know, I thought we did a good job the last probably five, six minutes, you know, of cutting it, you know, tying the game, and then they hit a three at the buzzer uh, to go up three. But you know, I felt fortunate to be down three at halftime. You know, the way the first half went, and got off to a good start in the second half, and you know, could really never put a string together where we extended the lead. And you know, we missed some free throws, you know, that, that we've made in the past uh, down the stretch. Uh, we were switching one through five, you know, and we got rejected. You know, they drove in, got a foul. We, we switched again. We just talked about it in the, in the timeout, last time out of, you know, switching with hands up, and uh, they hit a three. So there were some things that they did and capitalize on, you know, some things that we didn't do. But, uh, you know, give them credit. Uh, how much did not having Jordan available today impact uh, I don't know, either end of the floor? Yeah, I, think, I mean, having a fifth-year senior and, and your best three-point shooter out is not ideal, but you know it, it happens. And it's happened to us all year, and and um, you know you play with who you got, and you know guys got to step up. You know, Miles Brown for first time extended minutes got some good looks, just didn't hit him. You know he's a guy who scored over you know 2,800 points in high school, and you know he, he'll be a good player for us. Um, you know London McDay, you know didn't practice. Uh, he hurt his knee. His knee was swollen, so he, he missed practice 26th, 27th. You know, we didn't know if he was going to go. Got an MRI, and um, you know the the way you have to think on defense. You know, I thought we did a good job defensively, but you know you, the name of the game is score points and you know put the ball in the hole. Uh, did, I, I, it looked to me anyway that Miles gave you some some plus amount of, plus some minutes on the defensive end. Is that uh, give us something? Yeah, I got some deflections there. You know, and I think. You know, the latter part of the first half, you know, he helped us fight, climb back into it with his defensive activity. And, um, you know, we just, you know, obviously needed more as a whole. Um, up to this point, up till today, you guys have, uh, again, just to put it bluntly, beaten the teams you haven't, or beaten the teams you should have, uh, lost to the teams you should have. Um, this is the first time all season where the result has kind of been not predicted beforehand. Uh, how, do you, how do you handle that? No, I mean you got you got to assess why. You know, you got to go back and look. And if I told him, you know, we go back and watch, and it's a one possession game. We're up by one with I think the last war. And a game like this, every possession matters, and every person on the team, you know, there's one play that you know could have changed the outcome of the game positively. And you know, we we try to talk to our guys about every possession being locked in. And you know when you play a team that runs the Princeton offense, you know there's a lot of cutting, moving, passing going on. You know you got to be disciplined. And you know we did some things that we normally haven't done. And it's tough to mimic the pace of how they run their offense. You know two days prep and practice. And you know that that's really what the Princeton does. It makes you react to it. And they're going to they're going to lay up for a three or you know try to figure out how you're guarding certain things. But I think we need to respond like we have you know pretty much all year. Uh, that'll be the biggest thing, and you know we we talked about the non-conference season being over. You know, it didn't end the way we wanted to with a, with a loss, but you know, hey, the game's over. We got to figure out, you know, how we're going to respond from this game and move into MAC play. Um, you know, anytime you go from non-conference to conference, the intensity level is going to increase three or four notches. You know, everybody's going to know what everyone does. They're going to have tape and film. You know, now it's about making plays and you know doing all the little things.
Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is just talk about the intensity level and, the, and, and how you got to play on a daily basis and, and really not get ahead of yourself or, you know, behind yourself. It, it, it's got to be a one-game mentality. You know, the, the focus, the preparation, the mental uh, preparation going into a game, you know, that, that's what it's going to take. And, you know, if you sit there and look forward or ahead of who you have next week, you're, you're not winning. And ideally, the, the formula is win your home games, win half your road games, and you're going to be in the hunt. And you know, we, we've proven we can win on the road, but you know, the, the focus and the mindset we had those first two road games, you know, we didn't have tonight or, or um, you know, the 21st. And you know, we got to get back to that. Yeah, I mean, it kept us in the game. And, you know, we knew coming in that, like I said, it was going to be a low possession. And our defense really kind of stuck it, you know, kept us in it. And we just kept hanging around, hanging around. And, you know, when we got up one, I think we took a timeout with 4.14 left. And then even going into the last war, you know, it, it was like, hey, every possession now, you know, we got to get stop, score, stop, which we've done in, in our other games to extend the lead. Um, and, you know, tonight we just didn't do it and, you know, give them credit. Yeah, a little bit. You know, I thought we got a little dejected after that, and and you know, I didn't I didn't see the foul, his fifth foul, um, and obviously the the three pointer that he hit, you know, was, would have been big. You know, that's a that's a momentum changer, and um, you know, I'd have to look at the tape and see, but you know, it's part of the game, and you know, you, you have to move on. So it's like, hey, that happened. You can't let a bad moment turn into a couple of other bad plays. You got to regroup on the next play, get a stop, you know, come back down, score. Ben Foster, or not Ben Foster, Nolan Foster was available today, but didn't play much after that first run. And I know he's been out for a couple weeks now. Was that more him just not quite being ready to go, or, or did he re-injure something we haven't known? The first time? No, I thought it was more Nate, you know, what he could give us on, on the offensive end, making shots. Um, you know, we, we knew that, you know, it was going to be a premium to make shots, and Nate gives us that ability. You know, what, what you take away, you know, from Nolan and Nate defensively and, and same thing offensively. And we just felt like we needed an offensive, you know, spark there. So it was more dictated on style play and you know who we were playing. Anything else? And just to be clear, Jordy, it was an illness kind of deal. This for him missing today. I was like yeah, he um, came down. I think Christmas Day he called me, and you know was thrown up, wasn't feeling well, and. And um, I think the, that part's over. And, you know, he, it was good to see him today. So I, I think it'll be a short-term deal.